So this is a pretty simple DIY. You're just gonna need a couple tools and a little bit of skill. So all you'll need is an eraser, an X-Acto knife, and a pencil. But get a better pencil than this. Really you want like an HB, something that's really hard and dark. You'll also need possibly a printer because you're gonna want to print out whatever it is that you're making into a stamp. You're gonna trace over that, then transfer it to your stamp by just burnishing it into the surface. Now, this is where the skill comes in. First, make sure that you're holding your blade at a 45 degree angle. So the blade should be pointing down, but the handle should be leaning to the right. And of course, if you're left-handed, then it'll be the opposite. Now, making sure that you keep your blade in this position, you're going to start to trace around your letters or shapes. And the easiest way to do that is to move the design by hand instead of moving your blade. Just keep it inserted into the eraser and start to swivel the block around as you move kind of difficult to explain, but I'm sure you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, after you're done tracing the outline, you then wanna go back in about an eighth of an inch around the outline again. However, because we're coming from the opposite side, you are now creating a V shape into the eraser, which has now created a valley. These valleys are what create the negative space. So this will be completely free of ink and the highest point is the stamp itself. That is what will be covered in color or ink and what will be the darkest part of your image when you go to stamp it. So now you can just continue in this way throughout the entire design until you're finished. Once I reach that point, I like to go around my design one more time so that the negative space is really bold and I can cut away all of the excess eraser. Just remember, don't throw these pieces away because you can use them to make even smaller stamps. And if you don't have the most even surface or aren't confident that you're going to get a really solid stamp, you can put a little bit of soft fabric or even a towel under your paper or cardstock. So use any ink that you normally would for a rubber stamp. You can even try acrylic paint. So I use this exact technique in my DIY drawstring bag video and also this project here, which is my DIY sticker book tutorial. And if you guys decide to recreate this, please do tag me on Instagram and make sure to hashtag it a between e taught me. I'm actually really excited to see what you guys come up with because this can be made into literally any and everything anyway i hope you guys like this tutorial if you guys did like this video make sure to like it and if you really like it share it because sharing is caring and i'll see you guys next week bye